Hello and good morning also from my side. I hope you can hear me. It's the first time I'm speaking with something like that, so uh, it's not so easy for me. Uh, my name is Georg Kostner. I'm working in uh, Wirt Phoenix, uh, and uh, I'm in charge with system monitoring, system management since uh, 2007. I was asked today to present this uh, demon agent uh, in English, so this is the reason why I try to give my best in English. It would be more easy for me to speak Italian or German, but today I will try my best in English. Uh, in this presentation, I will talk about the SAFED agent. Is it, it is uh, an agent we have developed in the last year uh, under the general public license to collect uh, syslog events from Microsoft environments and Unix environments to a centralized uh, syslog daemon. I will talk about a little bit about the history, how we came to develop it, why we did it, and the functionality which today we uh, provide and where you can find the agent. <coughs> uh, let me talk a little bit about the company I came from. It's Wirt Phoenix. It's a company that belongs to the Wirt Group. We, our headquarter is in Italy, in Südtirol, uh, in Bozen. We are at in Bozen now 60 uh, employees, and we have a uh, second subsidiary in Rome and also in Hungary. Our mission is to implement a business solution inside the work group and also on the market with a business application like Microsoft Dynamics AX or CRM solution. And from the system management point of view, we are also focusing on ITIL. Uh, to do IT certification, we are Nagios solution provider, and uh, for the Mi Microsoft business application, we are Gold Partner. The Wirt Phoenix belongs to the Wirt Group, so I have also to talk a bit with my headquarter company. It's in Germany. There are some uh, figures about the Wirt Group, it could be interesting. Uh, there are 60, 65, five thousand uh, employees and 50% of these employees are sales representation. So it's one of the biggest companies with a huge amount of sales representation to sell uh, fastening materials. And, and the work group is present in over the world in all, all countries. They have some uh, companies uh, to sell this kind of fastening. Uh, they did in the first half year around five billion Yours, huge numbers, and the Wirt Phoenix group belongs to the Wirt groups, but as Wirt Phoenix, we are an IT company and providing also IT solutions to the market, and one special area is the system management solutions. So now came we to the saved agent. Uh, how we came to this, we start 2007, or we t start 2000, 2001 with Nagios, Nagios project inside the work group, Nagios project inside uh, Word Phoenix. We use it now over 10 years. And on 2007, we start to propose to the market a solution we named NetEye. It is a distribution based on, on Nagios and other open source project. And 2008, 2009, there came out an Italian uh, Low for the privacy guarantor. They ask all companies in Italy which manage personal data so that all system administrator must be uh, uh, characterized in the individual designation. So they must describe who is an administrator in the company, which is the name. They must look all their access to the systems, server systems and database systems. And this law was came in effect on September 2009. We had from this period some customers on the market, and they asked us if we cannot provide with the system management solution something to solve or to help them to satisfy this request from the Italian privacy guarantor. Uh, one, mo uh, one point we are focusing on at this time was uh, the access logs arriving. Uh, the law ask to keep them for six months. So they have, every company have to keep the logs for six months, every uh, access of system or network administrator to the systems. 
the logs must be signed, so it's not only a file to keep uh, in some place, but must be signed. They must be not changeable and so on. And for that, we need something uh, from a Windows point of view, but also from a Unix point of view, to send uh, the information to a central system. Our idea was to centralize all auditing events to a server system. The red centralized syslog server is our uh, solution. This is the word red color. It's not so easy to, to have some appliance in this special color. And the idea was to send from every system using syslog for as protocol to send the events to the centralized system. And now we start to look at the open source field, how to realize this solution. From the server point of view, we took the decision to use the rsyslog daemon to collect all events. The reason why we choose rsyslog was one is GPL full license, and so uh, it's free in the purpose of use. And it was already part about the Red Hat distribution. We, for our uh, Linux distribution, use CentOS. So CentOS and Red Hat are very close to each other. And this was one of the main points uh, why we use rsyslog, a centralized syslog daemon, to collect all the events. Now was the second part, how the syslog events from the auditing information from every system could be sent to the centralized system. We looked uh, on the open source field which kind of agent we could use. Uh, we start to work with Snare auditing for Windows events. Snare is from uh, InterSelect Alliance. And Epilog is a second agent from the same uh, company. And they could collect log files and send uh, log files in a syslog protocol to a centralized uh, server. The epilog was for us interesting for Oracle, but also for Lotus Notes. Uh, in each com a lot of companies use Lotus Notes to manage data, and so that uh, we have also to keep in mind to collect the data from this uh, system. And Lotus Notes or Oracle or system like that create log files to archive uh, the auditing information. The audit information itself must be configured from Windows or SQL Server or Oracle inside the system, and they create then the log on, log off, for example, information in log files or system events. So this was the idea, the solution, and the way we start in 2008, 2009 uh, to work. There were some issues on the open source agents. Uh, the snare and epilog <coughs> that was in uh, GPL license but there exist on this time also the enterprise agents with closed source with more additional uh, functionalities. This was one of the functionalities we missed in the open source area and which create us some problems in the implementation. Uh, for the Microsoft environment, we need an auto discovery system for the administrators. So in the Windows, uh, in the Windows field, there is if each administrator must be assigned on the system with his own uh, rights and with his own uh, user name. So there are a lot of administrator rules, rules which could be, uh, with will be present in the Windows environment. And if a new administrator will be configured, the agent should be able to discover it by himself. And this was one point which was missing. And uh, without this functionality, there would be a huge amount of work to configure every time the agents. And if you think about 100 or more Windows servers in an IT infrastructure environment, this could be a lot of work for the system administrator. Another point was that epilog and snare was two separate agents to deploy on Windows or Microsoft systems, but also on the Linux systems. and this is not really what customers or we ourselves would like to see, the amount of agents uh, which we are necessary to deploy it on customer sites. Regular expression filtering on Snare for Windows was missing. So this filtering for us was very important because 
the, where the aim of the solution was to uh, filter only the access from the system administrators, but not all events. So the idea was to filter it on client side and to not uh, have a server side filtering. This from uh, one, uh, two points. One was to reduce the network traffic. If we send all events to the server, this will cause on a, a huge amount of additional network traffic. On the other side, we see that if we see, uh, send too much events to the RCS load event and filter it on server side, the CPU load on the central system will be uh, go up. So the idea was to have some filtering functionalities on client side, and the Windows snare editing uh, auditing system didn't provide this kind of functionality. Another issue was that the open source field only UDP was uh, implemented, no TCP, no encryption, no TLS. Uh, TCP would be more safe to send events as UDP, less scalable, but more uh, reliable from the uh, transmission point of view. And the syslog protocol itself is not reliable. So at the end, we discovered also that syslog is not a reliable protocol even if you use TCP or UDP. Uh, later on, I will describe how we uh, solve this uh, issue. Commercial agent was present on the market, which satisfies some of, the of these requirements, but was not open source and not free in the purpose of usage. So for us, it was not so the key point if the agent was commercial or not, or if you have to pay something or to have some fees. But the problem was to find the right agreement in the purpose of use, and we didn't find any agreement with the companies which provide this kind of agent. On this time, we was on a corner to take a decision, uh, develop our own agent, or go for a pr uh, proprietary commercial agent. At the end, we took the decision to develop our own agent. Otherwise, today I will not be here. Uh, the commercial agents had really a restricted policy which not fit at this time uh, on our needs. So there was not possible to use RCSLOG with the commercial agents and to have our own centralized system to not use their centralized system. And there was some issue with, uh, on this time which created us trouble to go for the commercial agents. Another point was that uh, the commercial agents didn't provide any plugins, so we was not able to introduce new functionality with maybe a plugin architecture to have auto discovery for, win uh, for administrators, which uh, for this kind of solution we had to, uh, to deploy on the market was really, really important. Regular expression, I don't know why, but on the Windows field, regular expression seems something which not exists. All Unix administrator knows and are very powerful on the Windows I don't know why, but it seems something which is not to use. So this one, we had a little bit different idea and to start to implement regular expression in the agent as on the Windows side. Another point was uh, to create a reliable application layer for the event sense, so as it is based on a law. And we have to demonstrate to the guarantee uh, in Italy that the system is reliable, so we could we have to provide something uh, to assure that the communication are safe, not from the encryption point of view, but as all windows, uh, all events which are created on Windows or Linux will really send to the server side and if something are missing, uh, that we discover it. So this is, was a very important uh, issue and we worked on that and later on I will explain a possible solution how we uh, achieved it. Another point was to create, to have a possibility <coughs> to realize a centralized configuration for all agents. So if, uh, if we have five, 10 servers to integrate, this is not really an issue, but uh, in some cases and uh, virtualization, thanks to the virtualization, today we have not uh, 10 servers, but 100, 200, and they came up again, again, again. So the number of servers are increasing, and it is not a solution, or it will be a huge amount of work if each server must be, each agent on each server must be configured 
from the administrators. This will cause a lot of time. And we provide in the agent a uh, possibility to develop a centralized configuration. We did it for our system itself, for NetEye. We realized the centralized configuration, but uh, our idea was to provide this agent, I write here open protocol, to describe the data, data structure and how you can communicate with the agent. So there is one way to use it with our solution on the system management point of view, or if you want to integrate safe in your own environments and write your own centralized configurations, uh, you can do it. So there is no restriction on this case that the centralized configuration will only work with our system, but it can be implemented also by other ones. And one important thing was also Snare and Epilog, we would not like to deploy two agents, but why not have only one agent? So we integrate these two functionalities in one single agent and saved was born. So the idea was to create really one agent so that the de deployment effort will be reduced. The agent should still open source and free in the purpose uh, of use. Also new functionalities should be provided with encryption, which normally are only supported by commercial agents or closed agents. We uh, implemented it also for this open source agent. I will be honest, we implemented it, but we not use it. So there is at present no productive environment which works with TLS. But we developed it and tested it and it works. But on the end, on the customer side field was not so really important. They asked us, but at the end from the implementation point of view, uh, it's not so e easy to handle all certificates which you have to manage. And another point is uh, that TLS will work with TCP and will not scale in the same way as if you use UDP. UDP will scale much more. And we implement the reliable application layer for both UDP and TCP. And now uh, the combination UDP with the reliable application layer is much more scalable than TCP. So this was another issue why uh, encryption with TLS is not uh, so used, but is, pre is present in the agent. And if somebody would like to use it, it will work. And we improved also the uh, interoperability with our syslog. Obviously, it's the syslog we used, but it should work also fine with the syslog ng. So there's also no restriction which syslog daemon on the server side you will be used. And the open protocol for integration on a centralized configuration. Uh, one issue was also on the starting point of you, the CPU usage on the present uh, snare agent and saved. Uh, this is not written on the slide, but uh, it is a fork of the snare and epilog source code. So we, at this point, uh, use this uh, source code, forked it, and add this new functionality. <coughs> and the maintainer of snare and uh, epilog, they had a different idea, so we had no other choice and to go for this way. We discovered some other issue. The CPU usage sometimes was not really efficient because inside Epilog was implemented a polo, which every se 30 seconds, I think, looks in the file uh, if there are new events to send it on the so uh, centralized. And there was some uh, bugs or some problems inside so that the CPU usage go up uh, 100%. So this is one point we uh, was able to solve. We implement the TLS, HTTPS uh, communication. HTTPS is for the embedded web server on the, on the agent side. So in the agent, there's an embedded web server for configuration if you're not used a centralized approach. And this, central, uh, this agent embedded web server could be used in HTTP or with HTTPS. So this is uh, another uh, important issue from the low point of view for from this time for us because the configuration and the change of configuration should not be easy to change by the administrator itself. Otherwise, the administrator will change the filters, will make an access, and re-change the filters again, 
and the agent will not discover that he did th this. So for that point of view, uh, we implemented some security restrictions, so that is not so easy to change uh, the configuration from, uh, from the agents. Uh, we worked also to support more platforms, and later on is a slide which all platforms now the agent works, works on. Uh, improve the filters efficiency. This means on Microsoft area to have really the possibility to use regular expression to make filters. Again, this is very important. You reduce the load on the network and the server side. It's more powerful to make all the filters on client side. And uh, an auto uh, administrator auto discovery functionality was implemented. This is with one click now possible to activate so that all administrators on Windows uh, discover it from the agent in an automatic way. And obviously, uh, I told before, there are now only one single agent which can be used for auditing and for uh, log files and to send them to the centralized server. So here's the list about all platforms uh, which are supported. And I can tell you these are really all productive because on customer sites there are really a huge amount of different platforms and productive. Also Windows Server 2000 are still uh, on productive environments. And again, thanks to virtualization, maybe these servers will be stay there uh, for another long time. Also on the Unix field, we have implemented it for IBM AX, for HPUX, Solaris, and different Linux distribution. So the agent should work fine on all these kind of uh, platforms. In 32 and 64-bit for the Microsoft field. From the source code point of view, there are two versions. One are for the Unix Linux environment, and for the Linux Unix environment, we start from Epilog, because in the uh, Unix field, all systems have their own syslog agent, which are able to send to servers. So there was no really necessary to implement something for that. Uh, on the Windows side, they speak only with Windows, so Windows is not so really happy to speak with Linux. I don't know why, but there was no way to send from the Windows Event Viewer a view, uh, an event to a Syslog daemon. So this is the reason why Snare Agent exists, and uh, we start from Snare Agent and integrate it on the, uh, the AP log source code. So now, if you look at our websites, and in this period, uh, we are also deploying the source code to GitHub, so that if somebody would like to see it, can download it also from there. Uh, there are two source codes, one for the Microsoft platforms and one for the Unix platforms. Uh, on the uh, Unix platforms, we are not providing execute tables, but the source code and make files, and so that everybody can compile it on the platform you need. Additional features we tried and in the last year uh, implemented it in these agents, which are now working fine. So there is one and a half a year development effort uh, we put uh, to develop uh, in the agent was uh, to, to be able to configure the syslog message, the length, so that before was not uh, possible. Another thing which is really important to configure, to have a local caching mechanism, this means if uh, the network goes down, the agent will cache all events in this period and send it in a second time. So there is an internal local cache where all events are uh, cached in the, in, in the file. This was another point important from the low point of view because uh, they ask us what will be happen if the administrator will uh, take off the network from the server then uh, no events will be sent to the centralized system. So this was the reason why this cache was uh, implemented, and now all uh, events are cached. To have uh, the possibility to retransmit missing uh, messages, so later on I will show that each message, message has a SQL number, and if SQL numbers are missing on server side, the server can ask the agent to retransmit some missing uh, uh, events. 
as the agent has a local cache which where all events are present. So this the agent will look inside these files and retransmit uh, the missing events. We are also uh, introduced a debug interface and error information and warnings. So there is now in the web interface I will show it on uh, some uh, debug and tracing information. This from uh, was important because every time we tried to develop bug-free software or to make software which works fine, but we learned and everybody of us knows that problems can happen, bugs can happen, and so on. And this kind of uh, functionality was important so that our consultants or customers or our support team is able to make some troubleshooting. So there is a debug and uh, information system present in the agent so that should be more easy to understand why some agent uh, events will not send to the server or if there are some other problems. To have uh, the automatic discovery a rule inside centralized uh, configuration. This I already told. Identification through a progressive numeration of the message. This is what I uh, explained. So uh, each event has a sequence number. So it's not possible to lose some s something there. And if this functionality could be as an idea, and we did it combined with Nagios or Nagios so that there are some checks. We'll check if the sequence number are all present on the server side. If somebody is missing, the event handler of Nagios sent a request to the agent to tell them send again the missing event. So this could be an idea, an implementation idea, or the way how we have solved uh, this reliable application layer in our system. And the on-demand retrans retransmission could be done with the embedded HTTP server. So uh, the HTTP embedded HTTP server will receive this uh, retransmission request and send it back to the server or over HTTP or uh, syslog. So this is up uh, to you or up to the administrators which way he tries uh, to retransmit. And from the administration point of view, if you choose to have a centralized configuration approach the embedded uh, web server could be blocked, so that is not something which could be changed on the embedded web server. So there is a possibility to say to the, to the agent, yes, you should work with the centralized approach and the embedded web page will not anymore accessible. <coughs> From the deployment point of view, uh, this was really, really important to have a centralized configuration. Uh, and uh, later, you will see the open data structure is quite easy to send the information to the server. From the centralized configuration point of view, we choose a similar approach as Nagios with templates so that you can have the possibility to create templates for different uh, system profiles so that is not so difficult to manage 100 or 1,000 or so on uh, Windows servers or Unix servers and so on. This is really important for big deployments or huge numbers of servers to manage these kind of filters because filters can change. Uh, configuration sometimes has to be changed and if you have to really go to each agent and use the embedded web server, I think it's not a really good approach and the deployment effort, this is more from the Microsoft field, from the agent was simplified. Only one agent, there are auto installable MSI packages which could be used, so it should be very easy to deploy the agents on Microsoft environments. This is the protocol or the data structure which I dealt. So I think it's really easy to implement something like that uh, on the server side. And if you send, or if this data is sent over HTTP with a POST request to the agents, they will uh, read and interpret this kind of data structure and write the configuration uh, on Linux side, on a file, on Windows side, in the Windows registry. So this data structure are documented and can be implemented by everybody so that you each 
for everyone is possible to realize their own centralized uh, server configuration or if somebody likes can uh, obviously can also use our system management solution with NetEye. The safety agent didn't change the syslog protocol or we are only added some information which are underlined here in a yellow. So they saved add to the syslog message his process ID and on the second number 29 here on this slide is the sequencer number which are sent to the server side. This is an additional information which the agent add so that is caused this some uh, issues on the uh, implementation on customer side. And the filtering possibility on Windows and Linux are the same. You can use regular expression, all the functionalities from the filtering point of view is uh, the same. And this filtering functionality of filter can configure it in the embedded web server or can configure it in the centralized and sent to the uh, agent uh, with, with the open data protocol interchange. And filters are very important for to reduce the network traffic. Or you need all events on server side, so then you have to send it. But from the filtering point of view, filter on client side is obvious more powerful, reduce network traffic, reduce CPU usage on the RSYSLOG or SYSLOG NG daemon. Uh, this was also added before, was not present. This is the debug interface, so that is really easy to understand what did the agent do, if it, there were some issues, some problems, and so on, and you can look, have a look inside. Uh, <coughs> I would like to say that we try to do it in the best way, to make quality assurance for <coughs> the agent. Uh, there are implemented in the source code more assets and we used Selenium HQ to make also regression tests again uh, the web interface by the agent. So our development team in this area used uh, this approach so that changes on the source code uh, from the agent will be tested before we deliver some new releases. And this is the way we try to use. Obvious it's really difficult to test really each functionality about the agents, but this is a process which is implemented in our development area so that uh, new releases will every time before they are released will be tested with this kind of uh, instrument and it's really, uh, really powerful. This is our blog and where you can download the, the agents. The blog or I'm sorry for that, some parts of the blog is in Italian as our market is on the Italian but the download page is full in English and this is the place where you can find uh, the documentation. Uh, this is also where you can download the source code at present and if it we finish the source code will then be present on GitHub so you can download it also from there uh, in the future. I hope the presentation was interesting for you. If there are some questions please ask and I hope also that the agent somebody could use it and enjoy the functionalities. Thank you to everybody for their attention. <coughs>